Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today, well today we're going to be dealing with a convergence of issues. We still have the same issue that we had last week with the pesticides. Unfortunately, that spread and is now affecting both the white hive and the red hive. And let me tell you, that's not good news for the red hive because as we discovered the week before last, the red hive had a laying worker in it and I did manage to get the Navy Queen from the Navy box and put her down to the bottom. And now I fear that I've poisoned her. So we're going to be checking some hives today, looking for queens and looking for, for illness and see if I even have a queen. I hope the, the white hive is okay because now there are a ton of bees out in front of that hive. But we're going to get into the bottom. We're going to do a deep dive in both of those. We're also going to check the navy hive to see if they have started generating a new queen. And we're going to check the resource hive if there's time to see if they've started generating a new queen. So let me get my veil on and we'll get started. I also want to thank everybody for all the great information you've given me about the, uh, the possible pesticide poisoning. It's really, really helpful, and, and I was kind of kicking myself after not going down into the brood chamber of the, uh, of the white hive last week, but we are going to do that today. But I think for sure it's pesticide poisoning now because these girls are doing the same thing. It's unfortunate. Okay, we're just going to go zipping right down to the bottom. All right, so let's see what we can see here. Okay, let's see how our new queen is doing, and whoop, that she's here. Okay, we only have a couple of dead bees on the front. I don't see a lot of dead drones, and I expected to see some drones in here. I'm glad that I don't. Okay, now this, this box is packed. And I think it's packed because the ladies have left top boxes and moved in down here at the bottom. Let's, uh, oh, that's not good. Okay, they're trying to carry a, they're trying to carry a larva out. Okay, show me the queen. Okay, okay, we have some, some laying going on down here. Now this is a medium box. Okay, that is a solid brood frame on both sides, but it doesn't look like fresh brood. And this is what I brought over last week. Fresh brood. Or a queen. Okay, there's honey. No eggs. A waggle dance going on right there. That's good. It's a good sign. I see pollen coming in. That's a good sign as well, but we're still on resource frames here. Let me see the queen. Let me see some fresh brood. That's an entire frame of honey. I see some big, some big drones there. Okay, I don't see the queen in this box. There's a lot of fresh brood. So I guess I have to take a wait and see approach. I thought I saw a, a laying worker dip her abdomen into a, into a cell. Maybe that didn't happen. Maybe it happened and I just didn't see it right. There's also not a lot of dead bees. Actually, there's no dead bees on the bottom. So that looks good. All right, what we're going to do I'm going to put this hive back together. And I was going to flip the boxes around. But in the back of my head, I hear Mike Berry saying, don't do it, don't do it. Don't flip the boxes around this time of year. Because he said that to me in a comment. So I think what that means is that I will not flip the boxes around this time of year. Well, I am going to remove my screen and hope that that larva that I see in there is coming from a queen and not from a laying worker. A lot of it is not capped yet, and I don't know how they're going to cap it. That's the problem. All right, we're going to take a quick look in the box just to see if I see any fresh drone comb. I see drone comb, I see queen cups. I 
that's not good because that tells me that I still have a laying worker on the top of this box. Yeah, that's all drone comb and it's fresh. Okay, I'm gonna give this one more week. I do see evidence that there is a laying worker in this box, but I did have the screen, in the hardware cloth in between the two hives. So maybe I have a laying worker and a queen in this box, because I did see some worker brood down below. We'll see. Well, anybody who gets stuck in there is gonna get stuck in there. Something else, I also, found a pile of bricks back in the woods and I think I'm going to use a trick that I've seen other beekeepers do. If my hive is queen right, I'm going to lay a brick down on its side. If it needs a queen, I'm going to stand it up and that way I'll be able to tell at first glance who to check on. I'm feeling lucky. All right, the goal in this hive is just, just see how things are going and see if I can find the queen. The last thing I need is another box without a queen. And I would hate it if this one got poisoned. Let's see here, girls. Coming up. Coming up. The other side of this is a full frame of brood. Holy moly. Look at that. Wow. Wow, I do not think I will be seeing a queen on this frame. I see anybody dead in the bottom. There's another question I want to ask myself here because there's an awful lot of dead bees out in front of this hive. Okay. Okay, I do see fresh larva. And there's my queen. There she is, right there. she is and she's a beauty she is a beauty okay so we have a queen in here and she seems to be healthy and she seems to still be laying and there's a big population of bees here I don't know what in the world has caused this die-off Right, I'm very very happy with the white hive. Let's go check the resource hive. Alright, so what I want to see in here is, is simple. I want to see this side and this side with queen cells or at least trying to start a queen cell. They both had the resources necessary to make queens. I just need to make sure that they have. Okay, these girls are making some noise. Alright ladies. I just want to see a queen cell, honey. That's all I want to see. They're awfully loud. Oh, and I see a queen cell. I can see it from here. So what I want to do is get this frame out of the way. We'll just scooch it over a little bit. We'll bring this out. And looky there. Beautiful. Beautiful, right there on the face. All right, ladies. You win. I'm out. I'm out. Good job. Good job. We are going to look on both sides. Big Zilcherino there. Okay, ladies. All right, let's see if we have a queen cell in here. This is a lot of bees. Oh, I see queen cell right now, right there. Slow and easy. Okay. Okay, a lot of honey. It's a resource frame. Also a resource frame. Okay. 
resource frame. More resources. Oh, there's a queen. We have a virgin queen right there. There she is. Right there. Okay, I'm gonna put this box. I'm gonna put this down in there. We have a virgin in this box. Okay. She's right there. Be beautiful. Okay, so she is hatched. Look, girls. The teal hive Close. triggers the stingometer. Close. Oh, oh, she got me. Son of a gun. Ouch. There went the stingometer. Let me get my gloves on. Right on the left wrist. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. I know why you're defensive. Oh, ladies. Come in. I don't want to smash anybody. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. That is excellent. So we're on our way to having a queen in this box, and we have a virgin queen in that box. No guardian on the bottom. She can get out, come back. I'm in good shape. Let's look at the green nuke. All right, so what we want in here is very simple. We want a queen. Now, okay, confession time here. The reason the red hive has a laying worker is because they had some very small queen cells in there. I took them. I put them in here. But I thought they still had a queen in there. And they didn't. And now it's a laying worker situation. But let's hope that the queen cells paid off. Hi, ladies. There's some smoke. Okay, no queen on the front. We have a lot of bees in here, though. Okay, ladies. Show me. Show me. The queen. Help me help you. We need. We need the queen. Ah! All right, come on, thrill me. Okay, we still have one queen cell that has not hatched. Two of them, it looks like, have or have been chewed out. Oh, oh, okay, so all the queen cells on this, uh, there's, there's still, there's one on this side, right there. That one's been chewed out, that one's been chewed out. Those have been chewed out. There's one right there and one right there. That one's been chewed out. Let's see if we have a queen, a virgin in here. We also want to listen for piping. Okay, big zilcheroni on this frame. Nothing. So let's, uh, let's go to the next one. See if we have anything exciting happening here. Come on, baby. Okay, we're storing honey in here. I see a bee hatching. I do not see a queen. Oh, what do we have happening here? Okay. No queen there, no queen there. I do not see a virgin queen here. Okay, boy, I hear somebody down in here. I see somebody just uh, buzzing, buzzing, buzzing down there. Okay. this rock right here for a counterbalance. Okay, this is a heavy frame. No, it's not. Yay! 
and I do not see a virgin queen on here. And I do not see one there. All right, well, there you go, the end of another adventure. Didn't turn out as good as I thought it was going to be, but it did not turn out as bad as I thought it could have. So I think we're in good shape. The red hive, I still don't know what the situation is there. There could be a queen, there could not be a queen. There could be a laying worker, there could not be a laying worker. We will find out next week because I have removed the hardware cloth. And if anybody's laying in there next week, it's going to be whoever won the fight. So we will check that out next week. And I tell you what, if we do not have a queen and we still have a laying worker, I'm going to move the red hive back to the back bench, put the navy hive up front and problem solved. Um, we also checked the white hive and the white hive fit looked healthy. Now there's a lot of dead bees on the ground in front of it. More than there were the other day when we filmed the pesticide issue. But the bees inside the hive look good. The queen is running around. She's laying. She looks healthy. Everything looks good there. So I'm just going to keep monitoring that hive and we'll see where that goes. And then we came over to the resource hives. Let me tell you very very happy because we have removed the queens from both those hives to populate sage and the purple hive but now the pine side has a nice big fat queen cell ready to hatch and the teal side the teal side has a brand new virgin queen in there and there was a bee in there that was so excited about their queen she lit me up on the left wrist so the stingometer went off and not to be outdone the little green nuke the little green nuke has two queen cells and they're ready to pop and there may have been a virgin queen in there out on the mating flight right now because some of the other queen cells that were in there have hatched or have been chewed out don't know but we're gonna have a queen in there pretty soon so with all that said i hope you like this video it turned out pretty good i think our season is turning around if you did like it do me a favor give me a thumbs up if you have something to say by all means please comment and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, take a moment to subscribe to the channel, ring the bell to be notified of uh, my new content. I try to drop a video every Friday. We try to keep it light and have fun here. So with all that said, I want you to be happy. And I'll see you next time. Take care. This week, the teal hive triggers the stingometer. The season total stands at three.